Hi all folks, this is Max from ZetoMax.com and G2Hacks.com. So today we're going to go install uh, the Super CM7 mod. It's basically uh, based on CM7 but with some other goodies. So to install, copy over to your SD card, a zip file. I'll have links below this block, uh, video or <clears throat> in the blog post. And then next, we're going to go open up ROM manager if you don't have ROM manager make sure you install it and make sure your flash clockwork mod recovery um, make sure you have the latest version at least 3.0 or above to flash this ROM and then we're going to do install ROM from SD card and then we're going to go click on the super CM7 G2 this is the version 1.8 the file I told you to copy over and then wipe you can back up your existing ROM, I already did um, wipe data and cache and okay and okay and this will install it by itself um, I'll just show you that it's going to recovery and then when the process starts so now it's doing its thing. So I'll be back when this is done. I'm just gonna leave it here. Hi all folks, so I guess it's installed it and uh, this is the startup animation. Um, nothing fancy, it's got the Google gears. Anyway, I'll be back when this uh, completely boots up. I just wanna show you that. Hi all folks, so I booted up. Um, this is what it looks like stock. Um, anyway, I don't have Google stuff, so I'm going to go install it. Uh, I have links on this too. Google Apps, I already have it in my, uh, in my, uh, SD card. Just copy over that Google Apps zip file to your SD card. Um, and reboot into recovery. I'm going to do this one more time. Allow and uh, don't you love that super user app? It looks so cool. And uh, we will be installing the Google Apps back into it. And uh, basically, here, not to wipe anything, just go to install zip from SD card and then. Um, choose it from SD card and then see the G apps <clears throat> and then we'll just install that and say yes and this should take like a couple seconds hit the power button um, reboot system now and then we'll be back I'm gonna go um, get some apps from the market to test out uh, Linpack and uh, Quadrant, so I'll be back. Hi, all folks. So I've got this uh, new ROM, um, the Super CM7. Uh, gotta go more settings, and then about phone. So I've got the Android 2.2.3.4 uh, um, kernel version 2.6.35.13 Cyanogen mod. Um, I don't know, I, I I really like the new MIUI ROM, the MIUI ROM, because, you know, I've been using it for just a couple minutes, and it's sort of laggy, um, I don't know why, but let's run some uh, tests, I have all the syncs off, let's run a uh, Linpack, because uh, with the MIUI 22.787, with the MUI and uh, overclock 1.9 gigahertz, I was doing like 60 um, or 50 to 60. This one is pretty slow. I don't know. I, I like. I, I really like the CM7 on my uh, Nexus One and Nexus S, but not really on my G2 phone. I've been having problems with it for the last whole month. Um, but you know. I'm not sure what's different other than the back screen for the Super CM7. 
Um, I guess it's a little bit different. Um, there's a, let me see. Let me try to find. See that? I had to press it three times there. It's, I don't know why the CM7 just. They gotta really work on these bugs, you know, for the G2. Um, everything is pretty much the same as uh, the other one, so. Um, I guess you can get this ROM if you want to, but I still think, you know, the MIUI ROM is way better with uh, overclocked. Um, I don't know, there's nothing really I can show you other than. Okay, there's gallery. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, camera working. Actually, that's what I was having with the CM7. My camera video wasn't working. Let's see if this one's working though. When you actually record. Oh, okay, it's working fine. Actually, it's not a bad run at all, I guess. Um, it's basically based on the CM7. So, uh, that was the short review of the Super CM7. Um, if you, if there's any special features you want to see on it, let me know, but, um, this is basically CM7. Oh, hold on, let me see. There's add additions, hold on. Uh, I guess basically this ROM isn't, you know, completely different. Just the icons are different. Um, oh my god, it's happening again. Actually, you know what? If you, it's because of the Cyanogen uh, kernel. If you, inst you can install that. The the one, uh, the previous video, the 1.9 gigahertz. The uh, was it the G2 fast kernel? If you install that, it should fix the problem. Um, let's see that. <laughs> That's why I, I, I don't know. They gotta fix the kernel. Maybe not the ROM. Um, I guess that's it. And then you get 4G, like, you know, bars instead of H for HSDP. But I'm, I'm not even getting, I'm getting Edge because this is uh, the basement. So, I'm just gonna, I can't show you that. But it's pretty much Sinogen 7 with, you know, graphical updates and some apps. There's like, apps like Torch, you know, added to it. Torch, yay! And then you can. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, let me run a quadrant test real quick for you. Although I know it's going to be slow with this kernel. I will do another video maybe if people want it with the uh, new kernel on it. It's, I bet it'll be much, much faster. But I really like the MIUI ROM. I don't like it on my EVO, but I like it on my G2. Um, it runs really good. I've been using it for a day. No problems with the, whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to probably go back to that later today. <laughs> good thing uh, that's what I was on before. But if you have any ROMs you want me to review, let me know. Uh, but this ROM just seems like just graphical, different icons and uh, a s couple more apps. But you know, I don't see, you know, how this is. It's not a really like a completely different ROM from anything else. Your device 1267, so I'm getting like horrible speeds. But it's the kernel, so just get the 1.9 gigahertz kernel. And it should be fine. So anyway, that was a review of the Super CM7. Um, not much different than CM7, so see y'all later.